Welcome back to the channel once again, fam. Jay Prince Jr. has been quiet on social media after a post and delete of his father's controversial post. However, November 18th, a fan captured Prince Jr. creeping on Corey LeRae's Instagram. The singer shared some sexy, let's call it, photos, which were liked by the mob boss. Check out the photos at your own um, discretion, of course. So, if you're asking yourself, why does that even remotely matter? Well, it's kind of interesting that Jay Prince Jr., who's a pretty vocal fella for the most part, isn't saying anything about all the accusations, all the quote unquote, of course, facts and of course opinions that there are in abundance as far as him and the involvement in Takeoff's murder go. And yet, here we are with a fan catching him liking posts, but he hasn't said anything to directly address all of the accusations. Now, of course, it stands to be reasoned with that that might be the smartest thing to do, considering that if you feel like you are innocent, you don't feel like you have to defend yourself. But once again, we're talking about somebody that's made it known that they're a very vocal person about what they do, where their loyalties lie, how they handle business. So, yeah, kind of interesting altogether. And of course, speaking on that situation as a whole, Offset definitely continues to mourn Takeoff with some of the recent photos that he's posted. And I'm not gonna lie, if it don't hit you in the chest, well, I don't understand how you're breathing. You got a couple of photos from when they did the uh, walking like a talking video. I know y'all remember that. And then the other ones just look like regular family photos. Like what you take with, well, your cousins. So yeah, definitely a uh, heart tugger that one is. Moving on with a few stories in other news, the game dropped off some interesting words, which I'm not going to lie. I feel compelled to read this the way that it was written as far as how I've interpreted it. So yeah, I'm going to read this kind of fancy, so bear with me, but I just feel like it kind of is deserving of it. So <clears throat> here goes. So many people are lost these days in a world where perception and social acceptance is king. Reality and who they really are on the inside are locked away until life forcefully peels away the layers of lies they've told themselves to create a false sense of happiness. He penned that with the following caption stating, and a lot of these celebrities y'all follow are disguised as goals, but trust me, I know most of them. And when the lights and cameras turn off, they hate what they see in the mirror. We gotta get back to the simplicity of just being who we were meant to be and cherishing the beautiful moments in life will never get back once they pass. My father always told me as a child, regret is the worst thing you'll ever have to live with. Live, we're already dying. That man, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't care what you got to say about anything. If those words don't cut you deep, well, you ain't bleeding and you dang sure ain't alive because that right there, that hit hard. Regardless of who it's coming from, whether you like the game or not, those were some decent words. Now, some may say that that was targeted at certain individuals, and it may very well have been. But in my opinion, it still doesn't take away the fact that they are true, nonetheless, at least to me. But you guys already know that I always look forward to hearing your comments on stuff like this so that I can better reflect upon myself, which is what I try to do. So that being said, you already know. Let me know what you make of this one. Also down in the comment section, but carrying on once again, this here is a fan's comment that's gained quite some feedback and it's relatively simple, relatively short, relatively straight to the point. All of that means the same thing, shut up. But it doesn't take away the fact that, well, it caught traction for a reason. Fan says, argument was fake and just a reason to get things started. QC paid Prince family for the hit. Migos was leaving the label, end quote. Now, other people seemingly agree with a few writing stuff like, this is the most logical explanation I've heard so far, makes a lot of sense, and I believe this for some reason. <sighs> now, a lot of y'all may be saying, <laughs> or you may be well aware that I tend to make complicated things simple, 
I'm not going to take something simple and make it complicated in this case, so I'm going to leave it kind of right there. What do you make of that comment? Is it really just that obvious? Is it really just something that was that simple, that straightforward? Let me know what you think. Moving on up yet again. Boosie, 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 Boosie. Had the internet in tears after his cat, which he named Garfield, which is a little bit of a, I mean, kind of a grasp at straws there, but huh. Garfield Hatch, the cat, apparently, went missing. Check it out. Garfield Hatch. Garfield Hatch. Yeah, he been lost for eight days. We can't find him. They crazy ass, watch this. Gonna go ask dad. Man, I want posters out for Garfield, man. Go, at, go across the street and ask them did they see my cat. They got all kind of little kittens to be over there. Go ask them did they see my cat. He usually come right back, bro. If he gone two days up, he'll come right back if we don't see him, bro. I'm worried now, bro. Real shit, man. I'm starting to get worried now, man. I haven't seen Garfield in eight days lately. And now I'm finna put out posters everywhere. I'm finna go by your school. I'm finna go by everybody's school and put out posters for my cat. That cat is part of our family. His name, like his real name is Garfield Hatch. His real name on paper. He's part of our family later. And I'm going to find my cat. Oh, it's going to be a problem. Man, I need posters for my cat, Billy. Real shit, man. He ain't came back, bro. Garfield ain't came. Been about seven days, bro. You know he don't be gone that long. Man, bro, I ain't seen that cat, bro. And it's cold, dick. Huh? Huh, well, yeah. Moving on yet again, we'll leave that one right there. Meek Mill recently gave fans a peek behind the curtain about the money he makes off music and also revealed that he had no idea how much money he actually pocketed from his hit single with Drake going bad. On Monday, November 21st, Meek Mill started a Q&A session on Twitter where he fielded queries, if you will, from fans. When one fan asked what happened to the deluxe version of his latest album, Expensive Pain, the Philly rapper railed against the payout practices of the music industry. In other words, he complained about how they be doing. Quoting, I let those albums go once I seen I was getting 13 cents to every dollar. Once I really figured that out, I ain't promoting no label-ish I don't eat off. My money come from my name and brand, he tweeted. I made $11 million in 10 years from music with just music payments. I was shocked, mad, and didn't really want to rap for any label. Now, I got a real point to prove to show you can survive without getting rapped. Clearly, that's a play on grape without the G, but you, you, you get the idea, YouTube. On a bad month, I make a million, he continued. A lot of people let me down when I got educated about my own business, and it wasn't like I'm not a learner. They mentally keep you faded from knowing. Don't give me a plaque. Give me the financial paper of how the song I recorded for 20K made 20 mil, not an award. I'm from the trenches. I don't want that ish. I want an estate. I want my whole family tree to beat the ghetto. Meek also said a red flag came when he asked someone at his label for financial numbers on his 2018 hit, Going Bad, which featured his reunion with Drake. Quoting, one day I asked how much Going Bad made just that song. They said 24 mil. I was like, how much did I make? All I got was, uh, LOL. I'm like, WTF, I know all the financials to my other business. I signed out, lost all trust for that whole system, he admitted. 
I asked Drake to do that song three days before my album came out, he continued. I think he did for free for me. We cooked it up. How the F do I not know how much I made off a song that made that much? They gave me a plaque. Big mental trickery. Now, <clears throat> I, I don't think I have to really add anything to this because Meek Mill, I mean, well, it's Meek Mill. I don't think that very many people have too much negative to say, especially about somebody who's talking about how much they made and kind of giving you some free game on not getting played. I'm never going to turn a blind eye to something like that, regardless of whether or not people like him as a person, because frankly, I don't know that people don't myself. But yeah, that's that's kind of screwy, isn't it? 20,000 for something that made millions, millions, millions. You're not going to tell me that's fair if nothing else, but <laughs> I guess it's kind of up to the individual to keep from getting uh, the wool pulled over their eyes, for lack of a better phrase to use right there. Anyway, moving on yet again. Check out this clip. You second home, 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 home. Home. shot up that Rolls Royce. Well, he's off the hook. That's my second home. I'm surprised he didn't survive that Rolls Royce. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it takes some bullets. I've seen him get hit 14 times and none of it uh, penetrate. And it wasn't even it was just a metal of the car. That's crazy, mm -hmm. man. Y'all gonna let up off a of lot more. Nah, there ain't no more in Atlanta. What you mean, nigga? No, y'all. I'm talking about. You should know what's going on in LA. You riding a Rolls Royce? LA is hot right now. You don't want to do that? No, it's turned up. Everywhere is thirsty. The bitty, the bitty, the turned up. It's thirsty everywhere, bro. I can't cap. Yes, sir. Thirsty everywhere. It's true. Can't trust, but what you can trust, and I think a lot of they downfall, bro. Pop smoke, same way. Mm -hmm. My man hit me, said, "Wow, this dude ordered 15. You know that's at least 50. There's no way he at. I know about that, but I ain't gonna call him. You gotta kill that shit. You can't be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be coming out the, just like a nigga going to Atlanta. You go to Atlanta, how much you got a spot over here? You splurging jewelry out, 100,000 out on the table. You this bitch and brought this bitch. You only know one of them, eight of them in there. Oh, this is for show. Thanks. I'm going to hear That's true. Yeah, you got to know how to move for all this. I be telling niggas, bro, don't let them know you was in LA till after you done left LA. Yeah, don't post that shit on social don't media. Don't that shit, be like, yo. And then they be like, hey, don't you know this nigga? Call that nigga, that nigga out here. That nigga done rented a phantom. That nigga flashing this, this. That's how I go, bro. You don't let them know you here till after you done left. When you on that motherfucker Delta flight, hell and pat it back, feel like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, just touch, we balling out. Let him go look for a ghost. This shit is crazy. Yeah, that shit is right. That's what I do. I don't never drop no currency. I'm uh mm -hmm. ten hours away after that. Shit. Oh, yes, sir. You, yep. Go get home. Yep. I'm gonna show the location. I hope you get pulled over on your way over there trying to fly. Back up, Bill. Okay, and yeah, there you have that. Moving on to the final story for the day. According to several confirmed reports, ATL rapper Jay Money was shot and robbed while sitting in a Rolls Royce Phantom. Talk about a crazy story. Fox News reported that the shooting took place outside of the luxury apartment complex known as Curve on Friday, November 18th, around 4.20 p.m. It was reported that money was robbed of his Rolex watch and three chains while sitting inside of the Phantom. He was conscious and breathing when the ambulance arrived but listed in critical condition upon his arrival to the hospital. Police say that two male suspects were involved and fled the scene before police arrived, and there's no motive for the robbery, as of yet anyway, and no arrests of course have been made in connection to the incident. Of course in this case I don't think that you need much of a motive, cause if it's true that this stuff was stolen, I mean there's your motive right there, everybody knows a hater gonna hate and, well, a thief gonna steal. <sighs> I really wish it wasn't that way, I really wish people could just do the right thing, but we know how that always tends to go. With that said, check out what WAC 100 had to say about J-Money shooting. But either way, I'm not going to beat you down with the um, stick of logic this time because this was kind of a lot to take in. So what I will do is ask you guys to please give me your feedback on any of these stories that you find interesting and well, we'll go from there. We've been Dirt TV Celebrity Media. You guys have been great as always. Keep it locked in for the latest stories, the latest breaking news, and the latest updates. And we'll keep you covered with just that. 
but do do me one favor and that's make sure that you be safe at all times until next time and we'll see you then peace